What's up YouTube? This is Void of Dust Gaming and today I'm bringing you a pre-recorded video and it is featuring the Chognar. I have seen a couple of videos on Chognar but I feel that this hero is not seeing as much playtime as he should do because Chognar is a really great tank slash harass initiating tank and today in this video I am going to talk briefly about his abilities as well as showing you some uh, gameplay about how to position him and I am playing a quite aggressive gameplay on Chogna um, and I think it really helps playing him like that. Going to uh, adjust the volume a bit so I am louder than the game. Okay, as you can see, um, we have a pretty decent matchup. We have two mages, we have two high damage mages with the Natalia and our uh, ball throw-in friend as well as the Valheim and the Batman and I decide to go with Chogna here. I wanted to test him a bit more often. I've played him on the Switch and I haven't played him on the uh, mobile version that often. Um, I just I think I got him recently and I am deciding to stay with the Valheim because I think he is really good if you have a damage dealing character with you. Otherwise it is just for the people who have played Chogna before he doesn't do that much damage in the late game. As you can see right now I am threatening the Lindas as much as possible. I'm trying to um, use my one as often as I can because it really does good damage at this point of the game um, because I am building him support slash tanky he isn't going to be the main damage dealer but that is not his role he is here for harassing enemies and he can do that with his one in particular because his one does not only do a lot of damage but it is also able to slow the enemy and it's got a really long range, so I am maxing out my one first. As you can see, we picked up the first kill. They were just a bit too aggressive on us. And because I was poking them every time I am able to, we were just able to um, get them quite low. And the Valheim was able to finish Lindis off. That is what you should always do. You should be up in their faces. You should use your one. You should use your two if possible. And doing that, you can get really um, damage on the enemy as well as being beneficial for your team. Even here in this situation where the Valheim goes in pretty much super aggressive, I am able to zone them. And that is another thing that you can do with Chogna pretty well because Chogna, he has the health, he is a tank slash support and therefore you are able to make good plays by using him as this kind of, it's, it's like a wall in between your AD carry and you. That's what the, that's what this character does. And we are able to get down at Lindis and the Superman. And if you see um, this situation, the Krikna comes in. And because we are putting so much pressure on Lindis and Superman, they are so low that they have to stay under tower, which gives us the ability to get the bird. Because we are sharing experience as well. Um, the, the Superman and the, the, the Lindis have to do that. Um, and we have to do that but we are able to get so much pressure on them that we can farm quite easily those minions and it just gives us the lead gold wise. And as I'm staying on the lane with the Valheim and the Valheim was able to get the first, the first kill in this lane, we are just in the lead here. And look at that Lindis, she has no option. Like we are just pressuring her so much and I'm just getting back health like it's it's not even funny anymore and there you go I'm building I'm building my support item um, to the first stage and then I'm going for the boots because it just makes me quicker which um, helps me because I can then position better 
And here the Superman wanted to slow us um, with his kind of like he flies up to you and he's got the laser beam out of his eyes and he slows you down. But because I have my ult and my ult is a um, it's like freeing the control that you have received. So this means that you are able to get rid of control effect and that's really strong. And even the the neck, like he could he could go in on me, but he is afraid. And that is unfortunate that Batman decides to go back. I just wanted to harass him a little bit more. And I'm able to get out here because as soon as you land your one, you receive a speed buff. And that's what I have done at this point of the game. Um, using my ulti, I don't know why I did that. But the Natalia's range is shorter than mine. So I am able to peel her off the tower. And now she has to, now she has to go in. I am... I'm not going in here on the Cricknack because that is just suicide, but I'm staying with my Superman. I'm baiting Cricknack out here and Batman is able to finish the Cricknack off getting the kill for us because we cannot really do that much against um, Lindis and Natalia at our tower. Like Superman does a good job here on pushing them back. But now we are losing the tower because no one is there. But we are able to get the double kill because the Valheim and the Batman are just sticking to their asses. So that was a really, really nice gameplay. And as you can see, I'm at 002 at the moment, which means I do get gold from the assists that I make. And on the other hand, I am just able to be quite beneficial for my team. And with the boots... I can roam quite easily because I'm super fast as soon as I get out of a fight and therefore I can just switch positions pretty fast. And I, I can always be the second player when we have a one versus one um, situation in the beginning. And even here, like look at that. Look at that, we are able to pick off both kills. Uh, because I was just persistent and I was just going behind them and really zoning them out so that we can just put down the pressure. And because I bought the windshield at first, I am able to give the character with the lowest HP a speed buff that is pretty much beneficial for us. And we are able to get another kill here, um, just building up that nice lead that we have with the 16-7 at the moment. So this is a really quick game. I think we are we are shortly over um, 11 minutes or something because we were just playing so aggressive. And as an advice for players who are new to Chogna or who want to um, like build up practice in terms of aggressiveness, because aggressiveness is what really gives you um, it really makes you able to, to get better plays because as soon as you play more aggressive, you will have like situations where you can where you can fight the enemy. Chagna is a really good character for practicing being more aggressive because he has the health, he has the mobility, and he has the skill set, like the his kit is really good. So um, anyone who wants to just get ahead and be a bit more aggressive. Use Chognar, go into a fight as a team support and you will have a good character to, to try some things. I mean, you cannot do that with a Valheim. Like, obviously, if you are playing Valheim really, really aggressive and even that here in two versus one situations, I'm not afraid as a Chognar. I'm really... Um, I'm really good at getting out, like here I can slow them, the only person who is able to follow me up is the Batman, and I'm able to go in here again and just be really, 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 really a nuisance to the enemy team. That's my, like my role. As a tank, I have to be up front, I have to make them feel uncomfortable. Because then our damage dealers can can just pick up the squishies, and Chogna is a really good character for that. I decide to go here with the with the Bereths because I just feel that I need a bit more armor against those ADCs because the Lindis and stuff they are starting to scale up. We are at nine minutes at the moment, so I really need that armor, and I chose the item to go with that just for for build reasons. 
but we are having a comfortable 21 versus 11 um, lead in terms of kills. I'm scanning the surroundings here and I'm going in again and I am able to um, get that kill and here I am going for the Kricknack. Kricknack isn't like even if he's one of the the fastest characters in the game at the moment I am able to get him here because that slow is just so good like that one is a really really catchy thing and now we are in their jungle I'm able to zone the Lindis like look at that I am going in and as soon as I move towards Lindis she is just getting back giving us the opportunity to steal their blue buff which is really good for the Valheim because he's ability based and he has a lot of abilities that he can use quite quickly. So Valheim is definitely a good character to give the blue buff to. And because we are in team fights here again, and again, I'm going in. Like I'm not I'm not um, I'm not afraid of being hit by the tower or something. I am just pushing them so they have to make bad decisions and that gives me the opportunity to pick up another kill for the team I'm able to heal so I took heal as my ability here because as a support I should definitely check that my team is always on good health and because we have put so much pressure on them and I think that is because of some aggressive plays that I have made as well as the team being super aggressive we are able to get a really quick match here as I said 11 minutes down I'm walking around their core um, because otherwise sometimes teams come back but this is just a pretty pretty good example how to position yourself as Chokna always be upfront always be super aggressive and that's the way how you can win games so definitely uh, definitely an advice to go for Chogna and try him out because I think he's really really good. So guys that was my video on Chogna, quick and dirty. Um, I'm at 10-8, second best player on the game because I have made so many assists. Um, I did not take that much damage, I did some damage but this is just a good example of how to play Chogna. Thanks for watching my video, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and have a good time. That was Void of Dust Gaming, bye bye.